hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss the modeling of a dome uh, shaped frame um, i have this random grid so first of all you can assign a joint at any location i will just draw it at the origin point and after that you can turn off the grid by pressing ctrl d and uh, my dome radius is 8 meters and the height at center is 2 meters so i will be replicating the joints press ctrl r and i will input here 4 meters my units are meters you can see at the bottom right corner of the window uh, press apply again select the original joint and enter minus 4 meters here now this length is 8 meters and I can draw a curved shape frame I've already defined a couple of sections uh, which are SHS 100 by 4 and SHS 50 by 4 I will be using this for my main members and 50 by 4 for my sec uh, secondary members so select this one instead of straight frame I will select curved frame then select first point and click on the last point then this window will open in here you can see there are three points mentioned the first one is the start point which we clicked at this location and this is the second point and the third point will be somewhere here at a distance of 2 meters from this origin which is the in the z direction so i'm going to keep it x and y as 0 x will be 0 y coordinate is also 0 and z coordinate will be 2 meters so once you input this value uh, you can preview this uh, file in front of you your frame will look something like this in the z direction now here there are, are a couple of options you can keep this as a single line object or you can break this into a number of uh, smaller straight line objects so let us select this second option and now to divide it into a particular number of segments you can input that value here let us just keep it as 10 then click on ok now you can see SAP has automatically assigned this curved frame uh, if I take my cursor to this point you can see at the bottom right corner the elevation is 2 meters so now I will select my complete frame and I want to replicate it radially so press ctrl R on the keyboard and go to radial replicate now I want to rotate it about Z axis so I'm going to select this option here and I want to replicate it at an angle of 30 degrees so it will create 5 number of copies then uh, you can see this point is already 0 x is 0 y is 0 which means that it will replicate the objects about this point then click on apply and you can see it has replicated my uh, main members at an angle of 30 degrees and I've made five number of copies this is the first second third fourth fifth and sixth one was already there that's why I've input five value here now click on ok now to add the secondary members I'm going to select my line element now I'll keep it as straight frame and change my member to as 50 by 4 then you can 
join these points one by one I have joined all the secondary members as well and your dome shape is ready in SAP model so you can delete this joint here and you can assign the supports in these locations as per requirements Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to model some other complex structures in SAP you can always request me in the comments and I will try to incorporate them and model them in my ne next lectures inshallah. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial see you all in the next uh, video so till then take care.